It took the ancient builders tens of thousands of years to build this pyramid. Our archaeologists have discovered the most gigantic pyramid, which has never been seen before in the entire history of excavations. Researchers have learned how the Great Sphinx actually came to be, the history of mysterious objects that are more than 100,000 years old. Watch about these discoveries and more in this video. Hi, friend, you are on the Kurtop channel. Treasury with Neanderthal remains Spanish, Danish and Italian scientists made an unexpected discovery in a museum in Spain. The box with artifacts, which had been stored there since 1986, turned out to be a treasure trove. 54 bones and teeth of Neanderthals were found in it. These remains, discovered in the Semenia Caves near Barcelona back in the 70s by paleontology enthusiast Miguel Asner, remained unnoticed for many years. The discovery surprised the researchers. The bones belonged to three individuals, a woman and two children aged 11 and 7 years. These ancient remains are approximately 50,000 years old. Asner's collection is now recognized as the largest collection of Neanderthal remains in the northeastern Iberian Peninsula. Master of the Terracotta Army Half a century ago, a unique discovery was made. The mausoleum of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, was found. After years of research, the ruler's last refuge remained untouched. Scientists do not dare to disturb his peace. In 1974, while farmer Yan Hifa and his brothers were digging a well at the foot of Mount Lishan, his shovel hit something hard. This something turned out to be a fragment of a clay statue. This discovery turned into a whole collection of artifacts, but the farmer was able to earn only a symbolic 10 yuan for his discovery. Archaeologists who took up the case soon discovered an army of terracotta, which is considered the guards of the grain Chen Shi Huan. But the mystery of the grave remains unsolved, because legends say that it is filled with mercury, which the emperor considered a magic elixir. Modern studies have confirmed the high concentration of this element in the burial area. Nowadays, scientists are making plans to bypass the ancient traps and get inside the grave. They are considering the possibility of using muons, subatomic particles that will help them look at what is hidden in the depth of the tomb without disturbing its peace. Mysterious objects that are 130,000 years old Archaeological discoveries in the Raciborz region of Poland have shed light on the activities of Neanderthals more than 130,000 years ago. For two years, an international team of specialists, including from the Universities of Wroclaw and the University of Silesia, as well as the Czech Academy of Sciences, carried out research, planning to study the geological structure of the area. Professor Andrzej Wisniewski noted that the discovery of the stone tools was an unexpected gift. Artifacts found 10 meters underground and sediments formed during the last ice age show that Neanderthals visited the area and left traces of their presence here. Archaeologists have emphasized the uniqueness of some tools, which have double-sided asymmetrical cutting surfaces, reminiscent of modern broad-bladed knives. These tools may have been used for specific tasks, such as butchering, and analogues of such objects are rare at other ancient sites north of the Carpathians and the Alps. The Gazan Pyramid in Kazakhstan in 2016, in the wide open spaces of, of the Karaganda region of Kazakhstan, archaeologists discovered something incredible – Sibigazan Pyramid, a stepped structure that may open a new chapter in Turkey history. This construction, belonging to the Scythian Saka culture, is part of the Begazi Dandibayev civilization, which flourished in the Bronze Age. The pyramid, rising on Karazartas Hill on the left bank of the Teldenor, just 90 kilometers from Karaganda, became the last refuge for the leader of the social of the local nomads. Research has shown that its age ranges between the 12th and 14th centuries BC. Artifacts found inside speak of the turbulent history of the steps, from metal experts to religious rituals, which together lead us to the emergence of statehood in these places. The proto-urban settlement of Kent, near which sacrificial altars were found, indicates deep connection with the Karasa culture and even with ancient Mesopotamia. How the Sphinx was built 
A research team from New York University has identified the importance of climatic factors in the creation of the magnificent ancient Egyptian monument, the Great Sphinx. Researchers suggest that the Sphinx may have originally formed naturally as a yardang, a relief shape shaped by the wind and was then improved by humans. To confirm this hypothesis, laboratory experiments were carried out, simulating the climatic conditions of the era of the construction of the Sphinx four and a half thousand years ago. The team used clay mixed with a stronger material material and exposed it to water flow, simulating erosion caused by wind. As a result, it was possible to recreate a structure whose outlines were similar to the shape of the Sphinx, where a more durable inclusion symbolized the head, neck, and paws of the animal. Scientists say their discovery provides a new, relatively simple theory for the appearance of natural formations similar to the Sphinx, and reminds that similar landforms resembling animals are found in the modern world. Scythian Bone Scepter during archaeological excavations in Bulgaria, an unusual object was discovered – a scepter made of bone, presumably belonging to a Scythian commander of the 5th century BC. The discovery was made by a team of archaeologists led by Professor Vasily Nikolov in the northeastern part of the country and shed light on the history of the Scythians, a nomadic people who traveled through the territory of modern Bulgaria. The Scythians were known for their unique way of life and cultural characteristics, and the discovery of, of a scepter in the rare burial adds to knowledge about this mysterious people. The grave, which resembles the shape of a boot with a cutout, has been previously excavated but has not been studied until now. The found scepter, 39 centimeters long, consisting of two connected parts of bone, demonstrates the excellent skill of Scythian artisans. On one side, it is decorated with an image of an eagle's beak, and on the other, with an anthropomorphic image of a man. Such artifacts, decorated with elements in the form of birds, especially the eagle, had special significance in the religious life of the Scythians. This artifact highlights the military and spiritual history of the Scythians, their respect for their ancestors, and their ability to create complex products that preserve cultural traditions. Celtic Village and Roman Settlement Archaeological Breakthrough in Munich On the northern outskirts of the German metropolis, scientists have stumbled upon an amazing discovery. The remains of an ancient Celtic village, dating back two and a half thousand years, and traces of Roman settlers. The village, flourishing during the era of the Celtic civilization of Latin, was home to our ancestors right up to the first millennium AD. And now, while digging for a new residential area, archaeologists have discovered houses from that era, whose outlines we see as mysterious circles on the ground. At the very center of the settlement stood an imposing building surrounded by wooden structures resembling colonnades, possibly a gathering place for the local community. Archaeologists also found different types of dwellings and evidence that the inhabitants lived in half-timbered houses. The amazing cemeteries of this era, with evidence from Celtic and Roman times, make us understand that this area was inhabited and rich for many centuries. Each ceramic plate, jug with intact handle, drinking vessel made of soapstone, and even the rare sickle from the barrels tell stories of days long gone. Axe over 200,000 years old Archaeologists in Saudi Arabia have unearthed a basalt axe which is now being studied to understand its purpose. A tool dating back more than 200,000 years was found in the Alula area. The find was made near an ancient settlement rich in archaeological treasures. The city of Kirk, also known as Al Mabiyat, has a rich history and attractions dating back to different eras. The tool discovered by the Teos Heritage team measures more than half a meter in length and shows signs of being used for chopping. Careful and analysis is ongoing to determine its role in the lives of ancient people. Skeleton of a woman without a face in Germany, archaeologists discovered a mysterious burial from the 9th century. The man lay unharmed, but the wife's facial bones were not preserved, and no funerary objects were found next to her. Excavations were carried out near Eisleben, on the site where the royal palace of Helfte was once located. The woman's height was one and a half meters, but her skeleton had a defect. Her face has been hollowed out. The man apparently held an important position, perhaps he was a high-ranking official or a military man, as confirmed 
confirmed by the objects found on him – a knife, a belt, and parts of an official staff. At the same time, no accessories were found on the woman, which became especially interesting for researchers. Felix Spearman from Saxony and Health suggested that the woman could be a Christian, while her husband still adhered to pagan traditions. This could explain the lack of funerary objects, since the Christian tradition rejected early decorations after death. Tomb of Heavenly Prince Recently, scientists made a sensational discovery near the city of Sanyan, China, where they found a long 147-meter tunnel at a depth of 10 meters with a hidden burial place. Within Sanyan, archaeologists have discovered the final resting place of Emperor Xiamen Dai of the Northern Zhou Dynasty, who ruled the territory of northern China from 557 to 581 AD. Interestingly, Xiamen Dai abandoned the usual royal title, preferring the title of Havel prince to the honorary title of the Zhou dynasty. His reign was overshadowed by internecine feud with his cousin Yu and Hu, which ended in the death of the emperor. The mystery of the emperor's tomb, designated M655, was revealed during archaeological work near the airport road in Senyan. The tomb has an elongated shape with an orientation along the north-south axis and contains numerous funeral attributes inside, including ceramic vessels, figurines of warriors and cavalry, a statue of a camel, and figures of mythical creatures. In addition, they found epitaph stone, bears an inscription confirming the identity of the deceased as Kanju Wenju, Duke of Lian of the Zhou dynasty, better known as Emperor Xiao Mindai. This discovery adds new details to the historical portrait of the ruler. The Forgotten King of Britain in the county of Hampshire in the UK, enthusiastic researcher Lewis Fudge found a coin that could make adjustments to the history of the country. The coin reveals the name of an unknown Iron Age leader, Asenertus, who supposedly ruled from Danbury Fortress. This discovery is considered one of the most important in recent years. The initial estimate of the coin was about $5,000, but at the Sphinx auction, it was sold for $25,500. The coin was minted between 50 and 30 BC and corresponds to the time of Julius Caesar's first invasion of Britain. Although the Romans had to retreat due to Celtic resistance and rough seas, the event remained in history. On the obverse of the coin, there is a Latin inscription with the name Esenertus, an image of Apollo and other symbols. The reverse is decorated with the image of a horse with unusual elements and amulets. The discovery of the coin casts lights on the period before the Roman conquest of Britain, given special value to this era. Gregory Edmund of Spink's auctions expressed his admiration for the find, calling it an outstanding example of art of the time and pointing out the importance of the Latin text in understanding the cultural connections of the Iron Age. This object sheds light on a previously unknown ruler, expanding the understanding of history. Medieval Stone Grenades in the vicinity of Beijing, archaeologists stumble upon 59 stone shells from the reign of the Ming dynasty, which earned fame for its progress in military technology. The Ming era was distinguished by the invention of original weapons, including mobile explosive devices such as bats, fire bricks, as well as various types of fireballs. Made from stone or metal, these explosive devices could be thrown by hand or by siege engines. Recently discovered grenades at the Great Wall of China in the battling area are stone balls with holes for filling with gunpowder, indicating their use by the Ming dynasty military for defense. These powder charges, once loaded and sealed, created the powerful explosion striking the enemy with shrapnel. This artifact provides further evidence of the amazing technological advances and military inventions of ancient China, and also illustrates the uniqueness and diversity of the early developments of gunpowder weapons used to defend the legendary Wall of China. New Giant Pyramid a giant underground pyramid gun and pattern has been discovered in Indonesia, surpassing Stonehenge and the pyramids of Giza in antiquity. This place, shrouded in mystery and considered sacred by local residents of the island of West Java, is known as the Pandan Berendak, the Steppe Pyramid. Archaeological work has only just begun, but has already shown that Gun and Patton may be the oldest pyramidal structure in the world, created on top of an extinct volcano before the advent of agriculture. New research suggests there may be chambers full of the unknown inside the hill. The name Mountain of Enlightenment emphasizes that an ancient civilization could have turned a volcanic hill into the base of a pyramid many millennia ago. Radiocarbon dating shows that construction began around the last ice age, 
making it older than 16 years ago and possibly even 27 years ago, putting it on par with Göbekli Tepe and age. Between 2011 and 2005, a team conducted a comprehensive analysis using drilling and seismic surveys. They found that Gun and Patton was built in several stages. While exploring the interior of the hill, scientists discovered signs of hidden chambers, some of which reach 15 meters in length and 10 meters in height, which confirms the uniqueness and mystery of this ancient structure. Wooden Scooter Chikudu and finally, a little about ancient technologies in the modern world. The Chikudu wooden scooter, originally made in 1972 in Angola by the Portuguese Pedro Saracayo, has become an, an integral part of life in the Congo. This homemade vehicle, created from scrap materials, quickly gained popularity among the local population due to the possibility of individual modification and adaptation to personal needs. In Congo, one of the world's most disadvantaged countries with a population of over 70 million, where the economy depends on extraction of minerals, particularly cobalt, Chukudu has become an indispensable assistant. In the absence of quality roads and the availability of cars, Chukudu is used as a taxi, personal vehicle, and even for transporting goods. The simplicity of the design of Chukudu, for the manufacture of which durable wood species such as mamba or eucalyptus are used, makes it reliable and affordable. At the same time, the production of such scooters in the Congo is quite widespread, with many workshops offering their production and maintenance. The price of Chikudu varies from $150 and depends on the buyer's requirements and financial capabilities, while more expensive models are reinforced with used car tires and shock absorbers. Manufacturers provide a guarantee for Chikudu, which is up to 150,000 kilometers or three years of operation. The load capacity of these scooters reach 500 kilograms, and some models can withstand larger loads, depending on their size. Chikudu has also taken its place in Congolese sporting culture, scooter racing attracts many spectators and has official government support, and in the province of Goma, in recognition of the importance of Chikudu, a monument was erected, paying tribute to the hard-working residents who use this unique transport. I think that our ancestors used similar transport many thousands of years ago, although it's creepy that while some choose the interior upholstery color for their Mercedes, other ride scooters like these. Share your opinion on this topic in the comments under the video, and see you in new videos. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!